Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cargo channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day because I certainly am because there is no better day than a new car parts day and this little package just arrived from Victory Road Performance or VRP Speed on the interwebs. I won't waste your time or fool around any longer because you already uh, read the title of this video and you know what's inside. These are some uh, drop-in paddle shifters for my CL55. Uh, let's unpack them and see what we need to install them. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and see what's inside the package. Nice. We have the paddle shifters right here, nicely packaged in uh, some uh, bubble wrap. It says E paddles on them. Let's open it up. All right, good. Uh, the package very well, so they don't uh, uh, get damaged during shipping. Let's see what else is inside. We have my uh, packing list, packaging slip, great, and wow, we have a mask from VRP. Awesome, because we gotta stay protected. This is cool. All right, so let's get rid of this uh, and see how we can oh install these little paddles in the car. All right, so these did not come with any instructions, uh, but it should be pretty self-explanatory on how to install them. Uh, let's first take a look at them. Very nice and sleek. I thought they may be aluminum, but they're actually lighter than that. I think they're plastic, but a very nice finish to them. Uh, they look just like aluminum. Here is the other one. <sighs> so. These cute little things cost about a hundred and something dollars, but they're the only good option for the uh, M113K engines, the 55 engines uh, and their steering wheel uh, to put and upgrade the looks of it. Uh, I worked out a 5% discount code with VRP and it is uh, CARGHOST55. So if you want to pick up your set of uh, little uh, paddle shifters, go on the VRP speed put them in your in, uh, in your card and then apply the coupon CARGHOST55 I'm gonna use one of these little pry tools to just pry the little alright I just went from the bottom of the little button and then pried it out so I picked up from home this little tiny little torque screwdriver I believe it's a T6 I'm not a hundred percent sure but uh, there are two little torque screws underneath the button. I'm just gonna unscrew them and separate the plastic so I can take out the button. Uh, these are too small, so I gotta find a place to put them. Not there, right here. Okay. I realize you don't see much. Here is the button itself. The two little torque screws go in here. You gotta squeeze these um, little legs so you can take the button outside of the uh, assembly. So I'm gonna do that and then replace it with the little paddle. This just come out. Then we push the button outwards and it just pops out. So we're gonna replace this little wanky button with, uh, let's see where it is, our little paddle shift button. Or it's gonna be like this, so I guess it's the other one. Uh, really simple, as I said, two torque screws and then you just gotta pry the little assembly open. I don't know if you can see, it's right over here where the button is. To install, you, we're just gonna put the little assembly over here and snap these little two pins inside where the uh, pins of the button were. And then this clip right here goes into this little hole right there. So let's see. There it is. Took very little finagling to get it in. And now I'm just gonna reassemble the little paddle shifter. Let's do that. 
simple as that and just tighten up the two little torx screws that are holding it together after the screws are in place all we need to do is uh, bring the button the the whole assembly back inside the steering wheel and voila now before i show you the finished product i'm just gonna do the other side as well knowing how to do it actually helps a lot uh, when you do it the second time around button number two and paddle number two just make sure you don't uh, mistake which one is which because one goes on the left and one goes on the right see if they have any markings I don't really see a marking on them so yeah be careful which one goes which that little narrower side goes up and the polish side goes towards the back of the wheel so it's nice and easy when you pull it and that's it 10 minutes of work and the car looks much better i mean the steering wheel looks much better these uh kind of modernize the feel and the look of it um let's take it out on the light so i can show you how they look on the car okay now that we're in the sun let's see how they look very nice comfortable and uh yeah good for a grip you can see from this way i don't know if the camera can focus let's go the other way there we go they look pretty sweet to be honest they're very nice and sleek and as i said they modernized the steering wheel of the 55 cars if you guys like this and you want to pick your pair don't forget to use the code cargos 55 at checkout for five percent off of these cool little paddles and uh let's put in drive and see now i'm gonna press the left pedal and right there it indicates we're in first gear then we're gonna press the right one second gear we don't want to start in second gear so we're going to put it in drive by holding the right pedal and we're going to go around the block now with these uh 55 engines and the uh, i think it's called seven something something transmission um the transmission works even though in automatic if you press the right pedal i'm going to show you right now for example you press the gas down and if you're in higher rpm and press up it switches shifts to the next gear so these are kind of useful even though um, the paddles are more like suggestions on these 55 cars so we're gonna turn right right here takes a little bit I can't wait to get the TCU tune on this car so if you guys like today's video and you like these cool little paddles that I got from VRP speed don't forget to pick yours up from vrpspeed.com um, cargos 55 is your coupon code for that otherwise drop a like on this video if you made it so far and subscribe for a lot more videos to come this car is gonna have some more modifications you wouldn't want to miss it see you in the next one bye Thank you